procedure. The box is rotated so that the line AB lies in the magnetic meridian with the help of a magnetic compass. A brass bar is placed in the stirrup and the torsion head is rotated so that the bar comes to rest in the direction of the magnetic meridian. Now, the brass bar is removed and a bar magnet is kept in it. Now, the magnet aligns in the magnetic meridian without any torsion in the suspension wire. This magnet of moment M is made to deflect in a horizontal plane through a small angle with the help of an external magnet. The time taken for 10 oscillations is noted. It is repeated three times and the average time T is determined and from which the time period T is equal to T by 10 is calculated. The length L, breadth B, mass M of magnet are determined. The moment of inertia of the magnet about an axis passing through the center and perpendicular to the length I is equal to M into L square plus B square by 12. If the Earth's magnetic field B from equation 1, T square is equal to 2 pi square root of I by MBE. MBE is equal to 4 pi square I by T square. Equation 3. Thus, MBE is calculated. Determination of M by BE by using deflection magnetometer. The deflection magnetometer is arranged in tan A position with usual adjustments. The magnet which is used in vibration magnetometer is kept at a distance of D from the compass on one of the arms. The deflection theta 1, theta 2 of the two ends of the aluminium pointer are noted. The magnet is reversed at the same place and two more deflections, theta 3, theta 4, are noted. Now the magnet is shifted to the other arm and four more deflections, theta 5, theta 6, theta 7, theta 8, after reversing magnet are taken. The average deflection theta is calculated. The magnetic field due to the magnet at a distance of D on its axial line is given by B is equal to mu naught by 4 pi 2 MD by D square minus L square whole square. According to tangent law, B is equal to B tan theta. Therefore, mu naught by 4 pi 2 MD by D square minus L square whole square is equal to B tan theta. Therefore, M by B is equal to 4 pi of D square minus L square whole square by 2 mu naught D tan theta. Equation 4. The procedure is repeated for different values of the distance D and the average of M by B is calculated. Precautions. The magnet should be made to vibrate in the horizontal plane only. The magnet and the brass slab must be kept symmetrically.